should be what outshines all of this stupid shit. Instead of writing an article about some clout chasing model that could have easily been contacted by somebody else through his accounts, just like it happened before. Because I got blocked by old assistants. I've been blocked by people that weren't Aaron on his own accounts. Even on his iMessage. Even on his emails. It happened after he died. I got blocked on his email accounts. He didn't do it. He was always the one that unblocked me. But no, the internet wants to sit here and harass me. They want to show an old clip of a fight that we had because of, you know, clout chasing losers. Because of people who make up weird ass lies. Just to hurt other people. Just to help the clout chasers who were happy. They were happy walking out of his house. And I know, you know, a lot of people don't pay attention to detail. And they don't read body language. Like I have. But if I walked in that house and I and I saw my husband, the way they described him, I would be puking. I would be shaking. I'd be hyperventilating. They would have to fucking carry me out of there. Because I wouldn't be able to walk. As bad as it is here, 1,500 miles away, it would have been a 100 times worse if I had to go in there and I had to identify his body or even be in the same house as his body. And it's not fair. It's not fair. And all anybody wants to care about is themselves or things that you know, don't really give him the legacy he deserves. Everybody wants to say, oh, well, this kid or this song or whatever, but what about the hero? (laughs) When does he get his hero story? Because for three years, nobody listened. For three years, all anybody wanted to do was try to silence me and tell me that I was wrong about... My real life experiences. And I get it. Miley is huge. The Jonas Brothers are huge. I get it. It sounds crazy because of who they are now. But nobody nobody wants to remember who they used to be. Before the fame. Before, you know, their big takeoff. Because that's when I knew them. Is before everything. And I know they remember. I know they do. I know Nick hid me in his music too. And as much as I appreciate that, it's still... It's still not Aaron. It's not the person that... Would tell a a silly joke. Just to make me laugh while he heard me cry. Or do anything to make me stop crying. Or put me before anything else in the world. Every time he called Voldemort out for what she did, it was because I asked him to. I said, please stop letting her win. Please stop letting this happen. And so, yeah, he did. And then he got attacked for it. So then he'd revert. Oh, when is that going to be written? When is this going to be treated like the domestic violence situation that it has been? That I have reported it on. Not just to the government, but to the media. I reported it to them too. But no, they're giving these people their 15 minutes instead of using this situation to explain how there are men who are hurt or get murdered or get put in terrible situations. Because nobody wants to believe them. That a man could be a victim in a domestic violence situation. Nobody learned from Amber and Johnny. You know, her exact words being, Oh yeah, tell, tell the world that you're, you're a victim of domestic violence. See how much people believe you. People believed him because 
He didn't have a smear campaign first. It wasn't set up by his ex before that. Like it was with Aaron. And nobody believed him. Every time he tried to show her showing up, nobody believed him. Nobody believed the truth. So when is anybody going to stand behind that? Because there are witnesses. There are people that remember us as kids. There are people that have shown me support privately or in different ways along the years. So when is that going to be in the news? When is he going to get that hero story that he deserves? That's why I sent him Iron Man months ago. Because for me, he's always been that hero. And that's how I will always remember him.